Most resumes have a few glaring errors, whether that's the spelling, the format, the style, but there's one error that if you fix it, you will find yourself getting more referrals and more interviews. And that one error is the relevancy. How relevant is your resume, your experience? How relevant is it to the job announcement? It is amazing if you were an accomplished rock climber. Say you climbed multiple mountains and you made it to the mountaintop. That's an amazing and impressive feat. But is it relevant if you're applying to an HR position? If you want to be in human resources, does it matter how many mountains you've scaled? It is equally impressive if you were a tank commander in Afghanistan. But does that matter? Does the interdiction mission, say you, you ran 50 interdiction missions, does that matter if you're applying to be a program manager? Now, there are elements within those jobs that do apply, right? So let's say you're a rock climber. You probably analyzed different paths in order to climb the mountain. So you have to focus on that. You have to say that you analyze data, or maybe you communicated as a tank commander. You actually communicated with your team in order to accomplish missions. That's relevant too. You also probably evaluated different decisions as a rock climber and as a tank commander. But it's not as simple as saying I was an impressive rock climber or I was a tank commander and therefore you should see the value within that. You have to dissect it and show HR the value of your past positions. I'm not saying to discount your previous experience. What I am saying is you need to reword it. Now you have experience and you should list it. Even if it's volunteer experience or at a low level job, if you worked at McDonald's or Burger King, that could still be relevant, but it's gonna come down to the way you word it on your resume. Most people still put all their experience down. Say if you're dealing with a military guy, they'll put 20 years of experience down on a resume and it will not be targeted towards the job they're applying for. You cannot expect human resources to fish around your resume and try to pull out the valuable parts. And that's kind of the idea. We don't know, we think that some experience must be better than no experience. I'll put all my experience down here and you know what, HR, they're, they're skilled professionals. They'll be able to go with a magnifying glass and find out all the great nuggets that I have that makes me qualified for this job. And they simply don't. They look for what's relevant and if there's nothing relevant, then you're not getting referred. This is not just limited to your professional experience. This also includes your academic achievements, right? Or the courses or certificates that you were able to earn. You would not put down there that you are combat lifesaver certified or that you went through the Pathfinder course if it has absolutely nothing to do with the position. And here's the thing, I think most people actually know this, but they don't do anything about it. And why is that? Well, one, it could be that they're lazy, right? They spent all this time, maybe hours or days making their resume and they're just done with it. They don't wanna come back, they're not a writer and they don't wanna keep writing and editing their own resume. The second thing is maybe someone else wrote the resume for them and they figured that it should be good, right? They paid somebody or somebody that they're very close to that's successful, they wrote their resume so they don't wanna to touch, they don't wanna deal with perfection. Another reason is that same resume, that got them a job in the past. It was successful enough to get them a job, maybe four or five years ago. So they figure it's good enough, it's strong enough, it's already proved itself. So I'm not gonna change a thing. But one of the best things, one of the top things that you can always do is you can always review, revise, and add to your resume. Even if you're currently in an amazing job, you don't know how long that's gonna last. Keep your resume updated. You also might be thinking, do I have to really change my resume every time I apply to a different job? And the answer there is yes and no, because let's look at federal government jobs. If you're using your resume to apply for jobs, you need to have a focus. So what I mean by focus is you need to have a job series identified. Let's say 0300. So your resume should be structured in that way. You should look at the job series handbook, find out what it takes to qualify at different levels of a 0300 job and structure your resume and your experience around that type of language. Same thing with 0500. If you wanna work in finance, 0500, right? If you wanna be an instructor, 1700 job series. So you need to have a focus. But you can have multiple resumes. You can, easily you can be qualified for five or six or seven different job series. And if two or three of those interest you, then you need to have two or three resumes 
focusing on that series. Now, if you do this, it will place you above 50% or more of the people that are applying right now because over half the people are not making their resume targeted towards that job series or towards that job announcement. They're not focused. They're all over the place. So if you want an advantage, then start doing this today. And once you get there, once you are now focused in on a job series and you're making sure that your resume speaks to that job announcement, then the next thing that you should do is take all of the language that says, I was responsible for this, I was responsible for that, and get rid of it because no one really cares what you were responsible for. Replace responsibility with achievement. All right, so you can be responsible for an operation, but that doesn't tell anybody anything. You could be responsible and it could fail and you just don't mention it. Or maybe you were responsible for a project and it had mediocre results. It doesn't mean anything, right? I was responsible for 30 people that actually accomplished this. What was the accomplishment? Focus in on the achievement, quantify the achievement. Okay, so if you're watching this and you, you've been applying for government jobs or you're thinking about starting to apply for government jobs, it might interest you to know some of the top benefits that come with a federal government job. And if that interests you, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.